on this episode. It's the showdown throwdown. <laughs> we left our home in the city and moved to the country. Here, on 160 acres of land, we made our homestead. This is our story. We brought home the chickens today, and they're going into the coop. so that they don't flap. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go. Little sweetheart. Here. They're soft. All right, you stay there, sweetie. Sit. Hang on. There you go, sweetie. There you go. Here's a tip when you're shopping for a battery powered tool, make sure you check the box for all the parts it should come with. Now, you know, like the batteries and the charger. Uh, I was buying a chainsaw and the store guy suggested we check the box. Uh, amazingly, four of the boxes, and these were locked behind a cage no less, were missing the batteries and the charger. Anyway, that saved me a ton of time considering how far I'd have to drive to get back to the store uh, to exchange it. Uh, luckily, they had a fifth box that was intact and it wasn't with the others that were in the, uh, the locked up uh, area and uh, that uh, really uh, saved the day. So, you know, thank God for that sales guy because to be honest, I wasn't going to check. I mean, who would think that a box, sealed box behind a locked cage in a, in a big store like that uh, would have had the batteries missing? Four of them. Four. That's three. Here's four. Okay. Anyway, that's my story. And uh, on to the uh, episode. Hey, YouTube viewers. Today we're going to unbox an electric chainsaw, uh, specifically the DeWalt uh, model DCCS 670X1. And uh, let's get to, to unboxing this. Charger. Wanna grab that? Thanks. And grab that uh, manual there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we can move the box out of the way. Yep. The box. in there okay one giant flex volt battery oh yeah feel that oh wow that's a heavy battery all right 
60 volt battery. 60 volts. Two of those, I could do weights. Nine amp hours. But that is, that rating, that nine amp hour rating, that's only on the 20 volt tools. Uh, it drops down to three amp hours uh, when you're using it in 60 volt mode. Oh. That's just the way the internal circuitry of the battery works. It, when it switches to 60 volts, it drops down to the amp hour rating is only three because uh, of the way it's wired in there. <clears throat> so the not, that might be a little misleading if you've never bought a, a battery power tool before. The nine is only for 20 volts, which will work with my other tools. So, okay, put that aside. And then of course uh, the charger, which is just their standard uh, charger. It's not the fast charger, so this is going to take a long time to charge a giant battery like this. You would think for the money that this would come with uh, the fast charger, you know, but they make you buy the, the fast charger separately. Okay, and that is pretty well all that comes with what you see right here. So we've got the, uh, the charger that it comes with. You have the the battery that it comes with, the big flex volt, 60 volt battery, and of course the chainsaw itself. You wanna, no, it's okay, here, hold on a minute sure. for me. Let's Ooh. pull that off. Oh, a little bit stuck in there. You wanna... There we go. Okay. So it comes with, the chain is attached, and it feels like it's tensioned properly and the, uh, the manual and that was it that is all it came with a paper manual a chainsaw and a battery and a charger and no oil either so Ooh. Wow. We'll have, that we'll have to put in okay oh and there is a Oh. There's one thing I didn't notice. Uh, the handle for the trigger has a, a little uh, tie on oh. it, so we'll just have to cut that tie. All right. Uh, right here. And that is one tie. And that is, there's your safety kit. The, you have to depress that before you can actually trigger the chainsaw. That's oh. a that's a safety feature that's in a, a, a lot of the battery tools. See, you can't trigger that unless you pull down the little safety catch. Okay, I'm gonna see if that's gonna be awkward for me. It, well, uh, you know what? That's a, one of those debates. People, some people really hate that, and other people don't mind it. Uh, I have the I have a variety of other power tools, and they all do the same thing. You have to have a little, you know, there's a little catch that you have to release. You're probably used to it. I am, but I'd actually prefer it not be on there. That is what we've got. Now we just have to, this has to be charged before we can do anything. You can see the little battery indicator. It's oh, down to one. One bar? Yeah, one bar probably won't, you know, not enough to, to test it. Mm. So we are going to remove the little sticker and get this on the charger. All right, sounds good. There we go. So uh, if you press the little battery detachment ah, piece, there you, go. you gotta press the little battery detachment piece. It actually, uh, you can save this to use it. I was just gonna say, does yep. it have any function to protect says, the top of your battery? Well, it says right there, transport with it on, oh. use with it off. Okay, so there you go. There's uh, tip number one. When you're getting this uh, plastic cover off the top of the battery, depress it like a battery that you're taking on and off a tool comes off. I've never seen a special battery cover like that. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, plug this plug this in. We'll just find a, an open spot. And see how long it takes to charge. All right. Okay. So we will note the time on the clock. This just slides on the top. There's a the little red, the little red indicator to say yes, it is charging, just like all the other Dewalt tools. Mm -hmm. And now we will see. 
What time is it? It is quarter to noon. You want to show the clock? <laughs> okay. So now we, we wait. We wait. We will be back, YouTube. I'll just when stand the, here and wait. When the yeah, we're just gonna stand <laughs> here and wait. Uh, and through the magic of editing, we'll just jump ahead and you won't even notice. Okay, <laughs> so that is what's going on there. All right, is there anything else we want to discuss while we're waiting? Do you want to weigh it now or no? Hey, that's a good idea. Why okay. don't we, let's just see what the chainsaw, let's see what the chainsaw weighs empty without the battery okay. and then we'll re-weigh it with a fully charged battery. Because the charging's going to add weight? It actually will. It will change the weight ever so slightly. Probably not worthy of so, talking. Yeah. I'm guessing oh. 25 pounds. 20? Really? 20? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's... 20? Holy smokes, that's heavy. We know our cat Smokey weighs 20 pounds. Okay, 20. Let's and say 20 pounds. This, this weighs about as much as one of our cats. So, Wait till it goes okay. Zero. Okay, go. Here, you want to... Uh... Okay. Okay, you got the weight yeah, on there? Yeah, but not... Ah, yeah, you okay, you got the weight on there? Uh, 10? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Uh, nowhere, like, there is there a specifications page that I can see? Hmm. Nope. Well, we could probably research that. <laughs> All right, as you can see, the battery has uh, fully charged up, and that took two hours and five minutes? Yep. All right, so two hours and five minutes for the uh, the battery and the charger that it came with, mm -hmm. which I guess isn't too bad, but it would mean that after you're done uh, your chainsawing, you'd have to wait two hours, over two hours to fill it back up yeah. or to charge it back up. Whereas a, like a regular chainsaw, you would, uh, you would just put gas in and go. So mm -hmm. there's something to think about. <clears throat> you know, as you can see, battery has uh, mm -hmm. got all the bars, so it's fully charged. Uh, now the only thing that we have to do is make sure uh, that there's chain oil in it. So, <clears throat> sometimes do they come with it? Sometimes. And there's something else to note: it did not come with any even starter chain oil. So there's another thing you'd have to buy. Well, that's unusual. <clears throat> I think most of them usually come with a little bit of starter oil for you. Well, this one didn't. Well, look at that, eh? Completely. Okay. So, hmm. if you want to hand me a. Summer chainsaw oil? Yep, spring summer. Okay, let's get a little bit of that in there. How do you know how much to put in? I can see the level rising. I'm actually watching it. Inside? Mm-hmm. There's a... Uh, There is a level indicator, but it only works when it's upright. So there, mm. that is full. And then it just twists a quarter of a turn and the key snaps down and that is it. And then when you put it back on its the, in, the indicator there. I don't know if you can see that. There should be a that was more clear, but yeah, I can see that there's fluid all the way to the top, so it is full. Perfect. All right, so we have bar oil for the chain is in it, and because it's electric, that's really all it, uh, it's all it needs. You want me to put this back? Charged up battery and uh, bar oil. That's it. Simple. Very simple. And we take this off. 
which sticks a little. There we go. And then as long as the chain is properly tightened, so you lift it up, you should only go about an eighth of an inch and then snap back in place. So you can see it's tight and of the correct tension. Nice. So we're ready to, uh, to at least fire it up and see what the, how it works. Okay, I will let me get my <clears throat> earplugs. Okay, let's get our safety uh, gear on and uh, try it out. All right, so I've got some safety goggles and they're not the most comfortable to put over your regular glasses, but they'll do for now. Just snaps right in. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, What's that? Um, chain break. Ah! Oh! Just like that? Just like that! How did you start it? Well, you just... <clears throat> you depress the safety lever. Uh huh. So that it releases the trigger, and that's it. Oh, so, wow. So, and then it just goes. And that's it. No putting your foot in, uh, trying to pull. Yeah, no noises, no trying to start it. Ooh. So that is a nice thing. Just, re just remember when the brake is on, which is forward. Nothing. It's a nothing. nice extra safety. If, you, if it kicks back, the theory is that your hand is supposed to, to take it. Yeah, uh, and quickly nudge it. And then it, that's it. And with the hearing protection on, it it doesn't even sound like anything. It sounds like super quiet. But we'll test that with a decibel meter. Oh. In fact, we could probably do that uh, right now. Okay. Let's let's check out the actual sound level. <clears throat> so ambient background's around 35. Okay. Or 40. So I'm gonna get you to hold that. Okay. Sure. And then. Do you want this in camera view? Or? One oh nine. Yeah, pretty loud. Mm. Pretty loud. Okay. <clears throat> so there you go. We tested the the decibel uh, level with the the meter on our phone, and it was one hundred and nine. Yeah. Uh, now, I can't remember what it said that the threshold for pain or hearing loss was. Hang on. You know what? It's, it's, there's actually a little... 100 is power tools, mm -hmm. and it's safe for 15 minutes of exposure. 110, chainsaw. <laughs> hey, it was right on the money. Yeah. 110, chainsaw, airport, jackhammer. Yeah. Two minutes without ear protection. Two minutes. There you go. Yeah. Two minutes. That's not and very they, long. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to be wearing... You want to wear some earmuffs okay mm -hmm. right on and that is the unboxing <laughs> of our dewalt chainsaw so far everything seems uh pretty good one thing i didn't notice which is a bonus it's a good thing when you were when you were uh, throttling it yeah i didn't see any oil come out of the chain no no not no. at all it's uh you feel it uh, any oil on it now if there is any, it's just very minimal. Sometimes there's chainsaws that spew it out and you get coated in oil. Yeah, no. I, I haven't noticed that, but I like haven't, this is a real test. We'll I haven't noticed that, now. Try it out on an actual cut. On an actual cut, yeah. And that is next. We're going to go out there and we are going to we're gonna put this uh, saw through its paces. All right. And compare it to our current model that we're using, uh, which is gas-powered. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping for good things because I've wanted an electric chainsaw for a long time. And, uh, you know, really the deciding factor for me to get wasn't the particular brand so much as uh, I'm already invested in DeWalt tools and I have all their, like I have their tools and the flexible battery can be used in any of the tools. So the 20 volt ones or the, uh, the new 60 volt. So that was kind of the deciding factor for me. I know a lot of guys, they'll be invested in like uh, Milwaukee or other brands and they have a buttload of tools for them, a uh, buttload of batteries already. And they'll buy that tool, right? Well, this one came with the battery, so now I've got 60 volt battery, but it also powers all my other tools. So that that was probably the main reason I decided to go with uh, Dewalt. You know, plenty of other makers make uh, electric chainsaws, but anyway, the more important thing is uh, I'm excited to try this out, and I hope it uh, performs at least as well as our gas-powered one, so we can, uh, you know, kind of ditch the gas power. Mm. 
exciting. Yep. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode where we actually test the chainsaws out and Don and I have Chainsaw Wars. All this is coming up. So make sure you subscribe. Join our adventures by hitting that subscribe button for all this and much more here on Home North.